Start that mess. I've got our to-do list, and I've got it, I, I promise. I've been slammed all day today, and we cannot afford for Michael to find out about this stunt. We're just going to have to wing it. Michael gets news of another full throttle bartender that's causing problems. Type in full throttle di diaries. That's her right there, second one down. This girl? She's yes, sir. working for us right now. Senior brings to my attention one of his staff members tell him about this bartender that I have working out by the stage that has posted videos every single night of the rally so far. Freak a f***ing joke. And too many county bitches and so unorganized. You know, nobody has any f***ing on that. Where's your station at? Underneath Small Bridge right now. Concert was pretty awesome. That is definitely the one cool thing about the bar that I'm at and I am not going to see everything. She loves her position because she can watch the concerts. Well, I didn't hire her to come watch concerts. I didn't come, I didn't hire her to be rude to other people that work here. There's five others. There he is? Yeah. I don't even see any more. I'm going to fire the <laughs> She's been get fired in the rudest way she ever has been fired in her life. I want to see what her explanation is. I'm curious to what her I don't even care. I'm just going to say, listen, I'm sorry you can't work here anymore because it takes common sense to work here. And it takes a good body to work here. And it takes somebody who's got some a little bit of integrity about the people they work with around here. And evidently, because of your video, you. That's what I'm going to tell her. So, full throttle, you go clock your ass out. That's what I'm telling her. Hey, I'm fixing a fire bartender. You got one that can, you can grab that wants to go to work? Grab her, let's get her a teal right going. Because I want to just do it fast. Boom, boom. Wherever she come from, she can get her ass right back there. And I'll tell you something else. I'll make sure she don't have another job in Sturgis ever again. After finding a bartender trashing the throttle, Michael decides to set her straight. This is our new bartender. He just came up and started yelling at me, saying he's going to put somebody behind the bar who wants to work. Apparently, I'm not working hard enough. I don't know exactly what happened. He didn't tell me specifically why. I wonder how many dumbasses have lost their jobs because of Facebook oh, and I YouTube. Know. Can you imagine nationwide how many dumbasses have lost their jobs because of Facebook and, and, and YouTube? I know. Okay. I'm going to go home and change all my hooker clothes and go and do a couple shots of Jaeger and have some beers. I got my bike that's out of the apartment. I'm saying I'm actually going to go for a ride and enjoy myself. Now she's got something to talk about. Yeah, we should check on her next rant. Yeah. We're live in Sturgis, South Dakota, and we're at the Full Throttle Saloon. getting restless and Tanya's nowhere to be found yet. We're in deep Jesse, we've got Tanya on the property. Tanya is on the property. Finally, Tanya strolls up. Looks like she's ready to rock. The weather is so awful. And in a cross hour now. Jesse, you got a copy, Jesse? Yes. What time does Tanya go on? She's supposed to go on in five minutes. Good deal. That's all I need to know.
You know, a lot of people come to the bar to see Tanya play tonight, and if she hadn't gone on, I'd have lost all of that income. They'd have taken their ass somewhere else and spent their money. They wouldn't have been spending it here. So I got to make sure that these national acts play. What you got? I hadn't got my numbers from tonight yet, but I don't. I'm, I'm a little worried about it because it was an older clientele that came in to see it. Tanya, they're not a drinking party and stay here till 2 a.m. You know, crowd for us. Hey, what the? Three days. I'm working, motherfucker. Work working. I miss you. Are you killing it? Not today, though. But the other, the other three, the past three days, we kill it. Today, I think you're killing it. Tomorrow's the busiest day yet. That's why we. get I don't know about day, day, but because, but tomorrow night, stupid. Tomorrow night, stupid. Oh, my well, let's that, be more stupid. We got jackal night coming up tomorrow, and and I'm, I got a big concern. Jesse's being real evasive around me right now, and I can tell. There's something going on. I don't know what Jesse's got up his sleeve this year, but I know it's something big because typically Jesse can't contain himself. He has to talk and talk and talk about it. And this year, he hasn't said a thing about anything. So this this matches the cartoon. You just you tell us. We're less than 24 hours away from the Jackal Show, and the exploding box is finished. I just hope it works. <laughs> that is killer. You got your so you get in there. Yep. You can get in there. You get in. Yeah. So be like this. You shut your lid. Run! <laughs> My brothers and Jackal came through again. This box looks incredible. And if all else goes as planned, tomorrow night we'll go down in throttle history. So listen, so let's go over let's go over this. So here's what happens. We got these animation, this cartoon put together. I've got it all figured out this year. Mike may be expecting a stunt at the end of the show, but he won't be thinking about one at the beginning. And I've been recording all of our conversations on my cell phone while he's going, no stunts, no stunts. I'm gonna put it to a cartoon. It's gonna air right up on this big screen behind the drummer. And then right at the end of the cartoon, the screen goes dark. There's the box in front of the drum riser. And it counts down from the screen. Five, four, three, the audience counts down. Well, no, they're gonna be like, they'll they'll be seeing it. I mean, they're gonna be white because they'll have seen the cartoon. And then but all he of a sudden- But he has no idea really what's getting ready to happen. He's just gonna watch the cartoon. Mm -hmm. What if Mike Ballard gets so mad that's that's what what I say, well, he I comes speaking. out and goes, stop playing? No, no, that ain't gonna happen. He may be mad, but he won't, but he'll never be that mad. I've got a lot riding on the Jackal show this year, including my own ass. I just gotta get up and get in before Michael has a chance to get in the way of my pop pow Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. It's Jackal night, baby! Jackal fever takes over the throttle. Yeah! Hey guys, let's go ahead and get that box over here and in a hurry. But in his quest to make this year's show bigger than ever. Covered up with that tarp. That'll be nobody will be looking up there. Jesse may lose control. I think you're not taking it serious enough. You can seriously get hurt here. Plus, Jesse, you got a copy. With Michael's security team hot on Jesse's trail. If Michael gets a whip of this, he'll shut everything down and it'll totally f up the whole Jackal show. The Jackal show isn't the only thing in jeopardy. What the? F we just found a. Right now on Full Throttle Saloon, it's the biggest night of the rally. <laughs> And Michael's security team is bent on uncovering Jesse's secret stunt. If Michael gets a whiff of this, he'll shut everything down and it'll totally f up the whole Jackal show. Meanwhile, the flaunt girls are rubbing some people the wrong way. Okay, so Nigel, I'm gonna go out before and after you, okay? We got two. Who wrote that on there? That makes me mad. And Fajita faces some feisty competition over who serves the throttle's favorite treat. They're going to take your food, they're going to take my food, and let's have a f***ing smackdown, motherfucker. Let's have a smackdown. You call me out. Yeah. That stuff he's serving, he just ain't going to mess with my fajitas. <laughs> Thursday.
you're here at the Full Throttle Saloon, that means Jack on that. Hi, Mom! Every year it's something new. Jesse's gonna surprise him. He's been shot out of a cannon. He's jumped off a bridge. Who knows what the hell is gonna happen tonight? It's Jack o' Night, baby! How you doing, sir? Good, good. How you doing? Good. Jackal playing on Thursday night has been going on for 13 years straight. Woo! We've established that the Full Throttle Saloon is the biker's ball. Just like you got New Year's Eve at Times Square. Jackal, Full Throttle Saloon, Thursday night, that's the place to be. Thank you. Thank you. I need those lights to light up what I'm doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So from four across here, I'll still do it. But okay, then what are you talking about? All right, about? That's all right, done. Michael doesn't want any stunts at the end of the Jackal show. I don't think he said anything about not having one at the beginning. This year, the decision has been made for me to blow myself up in a box full of explosives on the stage. Damn. What could possibly go wrong? That's all we knew. We got to figure out what's coming out of the show. Now we just got to get it onto the property and in a hurry get it hidden and stashed away for the show tonight. OK, we'll take care of the distraction. This is the biggest night of the rally. Tackle plays. It's always a huge night. So it's what we call a biker ball. We have to order tons of food in just because we don't know what kind of numbers we're going to do, but we know they're going to be through the roof. Tackle night is kind of like a full moon for most people. That's like my full moon of the rally. It's time to get down with it. Preparations for Jackal night aren't just putting a strain on the kitchens. The bar staff is struggling to keep up. You end up running out of some beer, you can run out of change, ice. So you just need to make sure that that's all taken care of before the crowd gets too crazy. Rocky and I have already got most of the stuff out there. All that really needs to go out is beer, ice, and liquor. Right now, I'm short about four bar backs in the outfield. One, two. It's been a really tough week for everybody. It's hard work, so everybody is tired on top of it. One, two, three, four, five. We're all going to work as a team, and we're all going to make this happen. Jackal rule! Pat moved to three. Senior moved to three. Flan moved to three. I don't, I don't have a three. Then you sit right where you're at. Yeah. I already know what's happening. I've got it figured out. Right. He's going to ambush me. I know that Jesse's going to try to do a stunt. Everywhere he goes, concerts, Facebooks, what are you going to do this year? I'm just not happening. I'm shutting it down. There ain't nothing hitting this property that I don't know about. He's going to end up getting hurt. Make sure you guys stick around tonight. It's going to be an awesome time tonight. Jackal on the main stage. My first zip line, this was his first zip line. Over on the main stage, Donnie scrambles to prepare for tonight's jackal show. Like a homeless shelter here. All right, you're all squared away? Yep. Next thing. Oh, yeah, we got time. Yeah, it'll just be like five minutes. Our lovely dance teams that have to rehearse every 30 seconds. One of them do. You don't rehearse on a stage. You rehearse in a back. Stages are for performing. 
What the plots? They ought to have it down to a science, because they do the same routine every night. How hard is it? It's like he has a death wish or something. No rhyme or reason ever goes into whatever he's thinking. As usual, Jesse forgets that this isn't his bar. Jesse stays in his own world. He's just an idiot. Somebody have eyes on Mike. This secrecy is killing me. Mike is in his office with Kristen Senior. So the coast is clear. My brothers and Jack, we've got the box ready in here. We just got to stash it away so that Ballard don't find out about it. Roman, we need to do this back here. So tuck it in right here and cover it up with that tarp. That'll be nobody will be looking up there. And I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep them on. I'll keep everybody busy on sound check. Tonight we're trying to keep everything hush hush for Mike. Jesse's going. Be looking out for Mike. If he comes down here, walk with him. Get him out of here. He can't find out about this. He's gonna be really pissed off. Mike's gonna lose his mind. What do you think? So you don't even know what it is. <laughs> That's none of your business. Now you got it load, unloaded. Thank you. Yeah. I know that Michael's going to be upset about it. But at the end of the day, I just I'm just want to make sure that Jesse's all right. You know, that's my main concern. My, uh, Michael will get over it, man. You know, they're friends. They're brothers. If he's not expecting something like this, then he's taking a nap. And I don't think that Michael Ballard takes a lot of naps. He just thinks that 